what we need to do is we need to way, uh, change the ways that we talk to each other. If we are talking and sometimes you are harsh to someone, you break someone's heart and you take him away from the masjid. Let me give you a prime example. An Islamic brother, you know, first time, according to him, first time he came into the masjid. He read Maghrib namaz and as people were walking back to read their sunnahs, he walked in front of an elderly person who was reading his farz. And that person broke his namaz, he let his hands go and he slapped him. He slapped him and in his own language he says, Anna, can you see that I was reading my namaz? And that young lad, Pyaris Lambayo, I'm, st I'm standing in Fezane Attar. I, I, you know, we tried our utmost best to bring him back to the masjid, but we have never ever succeeded in bringing him back to the masjid again. So always think to yourself, the, the way I talk to people, especially, especially children, they might mess about in the masjid, they might, they might shout, but if we shout back at them, you know, if there is a fire, how can you put out, put out fire? By putting more fire, by more fuel into it, you know, all what's going to happen is that fire is going to enrage, it's going to engulf more. You need to pour water over it. If someone is mean to you, nasty to you, someone swears at you, then just be easy, just be calm. And don't reply to him at that time. And inshallah, azawajal, with these words of wisdom, you never know, Pyar Islam by you. I always say that if you change one person, you don't change one person, you change the whole family, you change the whole community. Because that one person is connected to many people. You know, just give you a prime example. If someone comes up to me and he wants something, and I shout at him, like, go get away from me. Get away from me, I don't want to know you. And that person, if his heart is broken and he goes away from me, and then what will happen, this is especially for those Islamic brothers, alhamdulillah, who have the imama, who have the beard, who dress up Islamically. Very, very important Madani pearl from Amiri al sunnat Because people will judge us. If I say something harsh to someone, that person, he will never ever come to another person with a beard. And this is exactly what the shaitan is trying to do in our world today.